How can a raise help me when I feed animals at the Humane Society? In this lesson, you will learn how to multiply by creating arrays. Let's review multiplication number sentences, like the number sentence 2 times 8 equals 16. The two numbers that are multiplied together have a special name. They're called factors. The answer in a multiplication number sentence also has a special name. It's called a product. The x symbol says times, but it's helpful if we think of it as groups of like two groups of eight equals 16. Let's also review multiplication as repeated addition. Five times four can be solved by adding five four times, five, 10, 15, 20. Repeated addition works to solve the answer. However, multiplication is much faster. Five times four equals 20. Arrays are a group of objects that show numbers in equal rows or columns. Remember that rows go side to side and columns go up and down. To show five times four in an array, the five tells us how many rows or columns to draw, and the four tells us how many objects to draw in each row or column. Let's start building an array. We'll start with five rows. One, two, three, four, five. We drew dots, but you could use anything, stars, smiley faces, squares, X's. Now we'll look at the four. We'll draw four objects in each row. One, two, three, four in our first row. In second row, we draw one, two, three, four. In our third row, one, two, three, four. 1, 2, 3, 4 in our fourth row, and 1, 2, 3, 4 in our last row. This is a picture of an array. Multiply 6 times 3 by drawing an array. Remember that rows go side to side, and columns go up and down. Let's start with the 6, and we'll draw 6 rows. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This time we'll use triangles. Next, we'll use the factor 3, and we'll draw three triangles in each row. 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, and 3. Finally, we need to add up all of our triangles to find the product. So in the first row, we have three triangles. 3 plus 3 more is 6, plus 3 more is 9, plus 3 is 12. 12 plus 3 is 15. And 15 plus 3 is 18. We have 18 triangles total in our array. So 6 times 3 equals 18. A common misunderstanding is object, adding objects onto the end of the row instead of including them in the row. For example, in our last problem, 6 times 3, we drew six rows, and then we drew three triangles in each row. But watch what happens when we add three triangles onto the end of each row. Now we have four in each row. And when we use our repeated addition to find the total number of triangles, our answer comes out to 24, which we know is wrong. But when the objects are included in the row, then the array shows us the correct product. There are four cats at the Humane Society. Each cat needs to be fed nine vitamins. How many vitamins do the cats need altogether? So our multiplication number sentence based on the word problem is four times nine. We'll draw an array to help us solve. Remember, rows go side to side and columns go up and down. This time, let's use circles. We'll draw four rows first. And now we'll draw nine circles in each row. Nine in row one, nine in row two, nine in row three, and nine in row four. When we add across, we can find the total number of pictures in our array. First row has nine, plus another nine is 18, plus nine more is 27, plus nine is 36. 
So 4 times 9 equals 36. Dominique needs 36 vitamins to feed the cats. In this lesson, you have learned how to multiply by creating arrays. 